Hey everyone, myself Diksha from Bad Technica and today we are going to discuss about the current opportunities that are available for the students who have completed their Masters in Environmental Sciences. So, if you have completed your Masters in, in, in Environmental Sciences and you want to know about the career prospect, what are the career opportunities after doing Masters in Environmental Sciences, I'm here to help you and we shall be talking about some of the important topics such as the introduction, what is Environmental Sciences, what is the eligibility, what are the job profile, the sectors, government and private, what are the top institutions what are the salary structure of the top notch like companies or the uh, like uh, salary structure of uh, some of the good posts in the field of MNC micro uh, like environmental sciences so here we shall be discussing about few of the topics and then we shall be mentioning some top institutions and some top companies that are working in the field of environmental sciences and actively rec recruiting the employees who are who want to make a career in the field of environmental sciences or who are done their graduation or masters and they want to continue with the environmental sciences so we are here we are talking about some of the uh, like criteria and before that i want to tell you that biotechnica do subscribe to our youtube channel it's a world's number one and largest platform of bioscientists available you will be getting career opportunities advices as well as uh, examination details such as the examination of CSI and gate and NEET and here we shall be now coming back to the topic where I will be discussing about the career options after doing your MSc in environmental sciences. So first the introduction part I shall be discussing and then here so yeah it's a two-year degree program and mostly it covers the basics of ecology biological sciences as well as atmospheric sciences but it has certain in interdisciplinary aspects also like physical sciences as well as geography and also it is an advanced program that studies about environment and an ecosystem so if you're doing your msc environmental sciences you have completed your msc environmental sciences so you have basically studied about the environment uh, the regulation the ecosystem their interaction with the biosphere and everything related to the environment atmosphere their physical as well as geographical aspect now you are done with the introduction this is the basic of the msc environmental sciences which you already know because you have completed the degree and then we shall be discussing about the eligibility because you have to be a bsc or bsc honors degree you should have a bsc or a bsc honors degree for having a like qualification to do MSc in environmental sciences and then you can have a BTEC MBBS or bachelor's in engineering degree is also applicable if you want to go to environmental sciences but you should have a minimum percentage of 50% or equivalent GPA then only you will be able to get enrolled into MSc in environmental sciences. Now since we are talking about the career options above after MSc so these were the part that uh, is applicable if you are going to uh, do MSc in environmental sciences. Now we are done with the MSc in environmental sciences basics and how people get into MSc in environmental sciences and what are the course curriculum. Now, uh, if you have done MSc in environmental sciences, I will be now discussing about the job profiles and the top notch companies and the job uh, like um, sectors that are available. So, job profiles for an uh, MSc in environmental science uh, graduate, uh, they can become an environmental consultant, they can become an environmental scientist, they can become a scientist science manager, they can even become a wildlife filmmaker if they have interest in doing so, they can become an environmental journalist if they want to become a journalist in the field of environmental sciences, they can also become a director of waste management but it will be a process only, you can get to a lower level and then become a director so it's like you can reach up to the director of waste management, you can become an environmental photographer, then you can become a lecturer, lecturer is the most sought job after the people who wants to like go for a PhD, so you can go for a PhD or you can if, uh, qualify for CSI net and then you can go for MSc and like um and like you can go for becoming a lecturer in the either in the school or you can go for universities also but better you go for universities because there's no uh, something like separate environmental sciences at higher degree you can better you go for college and universities because you're an msc graduate now and also you can become a con conservation hydrologist so these are the job profile the common job profile that are available for the people who have completed their master's in environmental sciences now we are coming about the uh, government job opportunity so for the government job there are some of the uh, opportunities available like you can become a scientific assistant post in pollution control board of government and then you can also become an environmental consultant for central or state government you can become in uh, you can get into indian forestry service or the indian forest service that is connected by upsc you can go into research and development sector where you will be working as a research assistant project associate grf or even when you want to do a phd go for it you can also go for upsc position so upsc usually takes uh, gives several vacancies that are available for MSc in environmental sciences for their recruitment in the departments. So you can search for UPSC and SSC jobs and also you can go for intelligence bureau jobs. Some of the jobs are available. So you can go for these jobs 
and these jobs are applicable if you want to go for a government sector based job and if you have done MSc in environmental sciences you can go and write a CSIR you can go for becoming a lecturer you can go for becoming a, a, a university professor or you can become a researcher you can do a PhD you can go for government jobs conducted by SSC UPSC and then also you, also you can go for any uh, state or central organization that are actively recruiting students who have completed their MSc in environmental sciences so you you make sure that you subscribe to those positions you always jo check for those positions uh, in the like the uh, like uh, the uh, government portal or the website of the specific organizations and then you're coming to the private sector jobs so some of the private sector jobs are environmental manager position project manager environmental jo journalist research associate food processing uh, unit also you can go you can go into fertilizer plants because since you have a cross networking of environmental sciences you can go to fertilizer plants where you can improve the quality of the fertilizer so that it can you know Bet, get a better results it can it shouldn't harm the decomposers it shouldn't harm the plant uh, like the viability of the plant and the productivity also because mostly the synthetic uh, synthetics uh, like fertilizers have are having these issues so you can modify you can contribute in that sort also food processing unit also you can go and contribute because there are pharmaceutical companies the food processing companies who are actively taking the students of MSc environmental sciences because you know you need to have a good ratio of the like the toxicity or the uh, like food safety food safety productivity and safe consumptions by the people is also important so you can work in that aspect in the food processing and the environmental aspect also you can work upon that so these are the private sector jobs also you can go and go for any company based jobs the salary structure should be such is such that if you are bsc if you are just a graduate i'm just mentioning a bsc just for the sake of knowledge so if you are a bsc your salary would be 3 lakh per annum so better you go for a higher degree when go for masters and it's better that you go for a PhD if you want to go for research then go for MSc or PhD the salary would be 8 lakh per annum depend on the experience either you can go for MSc or getting experience or you can go for a PhD and get a job so the salary would be 8 lakh per annum then you can go for NGO as a fresher the salary would be mostly 20 to 25k per month so if you want to join an NGO where they are working on the environment control they are working in collaboration with the government or independently also for the environmental protection you can go and join there you can go for private companies but the initial salary will be 30 to 40 thousand per month and even you go for government jobs also the initial salary will range from 30 to 60 per month especially if you are becoming a research, like a research associate or a GRF position so initially this is the salary structure but later based on the experience and the domain where you are applying or the like the class of the government service that you are applying the organization you are applying the salary structure might vary so it depends upon the central government job and the the job prospect which where you are applying so the salary structure is always variable now we are coming up to the top institutions some of the top institutions where you can go and uh, like uh, pursue your research in the field of environmental sciences they have a very good department of ecology evolution as well as environmental sciences so it, some of the institutions are Indian uh, Institute of Science Bangalore and CBS Bangalore IARA New Delhi JNU New Delhi Center for Pollution Control and Bio Waste Energy Pondicherry Wildlife Institute of India Uttaranchal so these are some of the very good institutions where you can go for the further studies and research related to uh, environmental sciences now since you want to know about the companies also because we want to discuss about some of the companies that are actively recruiting the students of msc environmental sciences and also the top companies in the field of msc environmental sciences because there are they are like uh, many people doesn't know uh, they know about the food companies like uh, they know about the pharmaceutical co pharmaceutical companies or chemical companies but they less know uh, they know less about the uh, environmental sciences companies so we here we shall be discussing about some of the the top like MNC or some of the top abroad companies which are active like which has been ranked in the top companies working in the field of environmental sciences and some of them are the earlier environmentals France it is a France based company Jacobs Texas Acom um, Los Angeles uh, Tetra Tech and then Bonds and McDonald's. So these are some of the top companies that has been listed as like, like rank uh, for top 10 or top 5 companies working in the field of environmental sciences. You can go and visit. There are some Indian based company like the India based company also based in Eastern India or Western India. So you can go for and search for those companies also. But since I have may mentioned about the top companies, I have mentioned based on the statistics where the top 5 top tip companies of the world that are working in the field of environmental sciences. So these were the introduction, the eligibility, the job profile 
profile that is available after MSc in Environmental Sciences, government job, private sector jobs, the salary aspect of each one of them, the top institutions where you can go and pursue your further studies or your comp crop companies if you want to switch to industry position, if you want to work in the field of like industrial firm in the field of like MSc after doing your MSc in Environmental Sciences. So these were guys the details about uh, the career options that are available after MSc in Environmental Sciences. If I have missed something, if you want to know detail about something, please mention. I can make, make a separate video upon that. And so these were about the basics of how you can, you know, have a better career options after MSc Environmental Sciences. So the best part is that you keep on exploring the job uh, prospect and the, the, what I have mentioned that stick to it and always go and which is the website, always check for the updates, vacancies available, uh, subscribe to the newsletters. You can subscribe to Biotechnica also for any opportunities uh, you want to know. So these were about some of the career aspects that are available after MSc Environmental Sciences. Do comment if you have any issue in any regard. Thank you so much for watching this video.